Hey everyone, my name is Sail Hussain. I'm from India. I'm an Indian medical student here at Jiangxi University of Chinese Medicine. I'm now at the Metaverse Virtual Reality Digital Agriculture Demonstration Base in Nanchang, capital city of China's Jiangxi Province. This is about 23 hectares base which has been recreated into a virtual world with 3D modeling technology. Metaverse technology is applied in all processes of agricultural research, production and management at this base. India is the world's second largest wheat producer in, and it has been long a priority for the government to increase production and reduce hunger through high technology. I am very interested in how cutting edge technologies are empowering agriculture development in China. Let's go and have a look together. Hello, hi ha, I'm Sasha. Hi, hi, I'm Wamong. Welcome to our So this is the guide with us. She's going to introduce us what is going on here. And we are here at the Chinese medicine, herbal medicine workshop. So basically it's a workshop. Looks beautiful, isn't it? Oh。然后,嗯,通,主要就是通过我们想还原这个中草药野外生长的环境,一比一复制到了我们整个车间。然后这个的话呢,就是我们的一个数字农业机器人,主要就通过这个机器人采集我们整个车间的这个数据。像
and there's a, some kind of a laser here which is going onto the plant and so whenever I point my hand towards this plant out here it shows me the description from these eyeglasses so it shows that okay okay so we are here at the mint plant guys this is a mint plant yeah and here I can get all all sorts of you know information here so it's written that the temperature is like 15.3 degrees Celsius the pH is almost like 6.55 yeah so we can all know everything uh -huh. mm. there are also many herbs as I say there are more than 200 and yeah this one's here, which is showing that geranium, right? So this is geranium. Wow, very cool, man! Look at how fast the technology is developing here in China, man. It's commendable. Let's see this one. What is this? Ah, okay. This is uh, honeysuckle, right? So I think this is amazing because for someone who is coming outside here as a stranger who doesn't know anything about these plants, for him to wear this VR, you know, MR glasses and to just sort of identify all these plants, it's amazing. Yeah. 对，在我们这个车间的话呢，种植的很多中草药呢，大部分都是经过我们航天育种的。Oh, so she's saying that all of, some of the plants here are from space bread. She will now show me some some more uh, seeds which are space bread. Yeah. Look at the fishes here. It's sort of beautiful. Okay, so she will uh, just sort of show us more sort of seeds, plants which are space bred. So which is maybe, perhaps I'm assuming it's inside somewhere. So let's go and have a look out of it. The environment here is quite very beautiful and natural, you know, and uh, me coming from, you know, uh, a major of Chinese, her you know, medicine, so uh, I can sort of see and identify some, some of it, and yeah, which is quite good, I think so, yeah. So I think, I'm guessing this is the place here, yeah, okay, take it. So now we have entered the, you know, simulated metaverse space here. And they say that this company is having more than 36 years of experience in space breeding. They process, analyze, and uh, model data collected from years of space breeding. Okay, so now in front of me here is the real space bread tomatoes you know and uh, you know how it looks you can see how it looks this is the tomato which is bred in the space <laughs> so let me have a taste oh. so i'm officially i don't think i'm the first guy but uh, tasting the space bread tomatoes let's see how it Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. <laughs> it's it's sweeter than the normal tomatoes we have. Yeah, quite sweeter. Hmm. That's good. How true. <laughs> Uh, 
像我们这个元宇宙实验室的话呢，它是基于。咱们整个三十六年的一个数据，然后，呃，我们农农农技科研人员的话呢，通过在这个虚拟世界的进行一个研究之后的话呢，它可以大胆的缩短我们整个农研的这个时间。Agricultural researchers who wish to conduct breeding experiments can set up various data in the Metaverse laboratory and run the data in the model to get the results. Planting based on the data collected from offline experiments can further improve the model and this iterative process can significantly reduce experimental time and cost. So this is the virtual reality like a system so we can set all the description we want and also we can plant it virtually online. How cool is this? Look at this one here. Yeah, yeah. So now we are planting a tree. So this is a strawberry plant. So we are planting it online. Is successful. Oh, so we I just planted it online, man. Yeah, metaverse online. But I think it's very interesting. How about we try it on the real? Yeah, let's go and try. Let's go and try. Let's go and try. Okay, so so you see the you know sort of substances or the you know herbs or grains here. So this is from the third or fourth generation, but the original one was already out. So this is the third or fourth generation, and it's already been commercialized. Yeah. 那我们现在就在这种太空的航天环境里面种植一下我们的草莓。啊，好。So we are going to plant a strawberry plant, of course, on the space. We're sitting here. Let's see. Let's experience how does it. 首先就是可能需要来点土，来点这个。Okay, so first we have to pour some some soil here. Okay. Hi, Omar. Hi, hi. Can you just apply water? Okay, so let's put this plant. So this is a strawberry plant. So we need more soil to this. Wow. Let's take more of it. Oh, some water. Ah, water. So let's put some water to this. Okay, let's sprinkle some water here to my little strawberry plant, new plant, Kolama. Yeah, I think it's enough. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, so we can just we just uh, planted this uh, strawberry plant. Now we can take this home and carry this one in the bottle of water, and later we can pour the water inside this plant. Yeah, that's how we do it.
。这是我们在现实生活中进行了一个无土化种植的草莓。现在我带你们去看一看我们在虚拟世界我们的草莓种植。Oh, okay, so the strawberry cultivation has undergone changes in the metaverse. So let us go and see what kind of changes have been undergone in the metaverse, right? Yeah. So this is kind of very interesting, I would say, and a very uh, humongous way to sort of reach to the future. We know, we all know that the future is the metaverse, right? Uh, through the AI technology, through the VR. So, yeah, I think the future is already here. <laughs> so these are the strawberry, you know, plants here. But I could see the strawberry plants are hanging on the wheels. Why? What is the reason? Is there any reason? 因为我们整个车间的话呢，都是根据这个系统去控制的，不需要我们人来操控。然后很多草莓，它像在这种虚拟世界，我们可以看到这个草莓。然后在我们现实的生活中呢，也有同样的这样一比一的这个基地。不同根据草莓的这个品种不同的话呢，我们选择了不同的种植方式，有这种摩天轮式的、A 字架式的，这样等等。嗯。This is the finely controlled greenhouse that exists in the real life base. By fusing new technologies such as digital twins and digital tracing, strawberry cultivation has also undergone changes. Some strawberries are riding on small ferris wheels while others circle around on suspe suspension devices. This is because different strawberry varieties have different growth requirements for lighting and dormancy period. So different equipment and environments are chosen accordingly. For example, the strawberry variety on the Ferris wheel needs to be supplemented with water and nutrients every three and a half rotations. In the finely controlled greenhouse, the yield of crops such as strawberries and tomatoes has increased by more than five times compared to ordinary greenhouses. 这也是我们一个元宇宙商城，然后呢，它跟我们的这个传统电商不一样，跟我们的一个游戏中的农场也不一样。Hmm. On the sales side of agricultural products, metaverse technology has also brought changes. The base has built a metaverse. Shopping mall, unlike traditional e-commerce and virtual farms in games, this is a deeply immersive shopping environment. 那我们元宇宙商城的话呢，就可以通过虚拟人物进入，沉浸式的进入我们基地。然后我们通在通过这个漫游基地的同时的话呢，也可以感受到一个沉浸式的购物体验，像所见即所得。您比如说，您看中了这一株草莓，然后到时候邮寄到您家的也就是这一株，因为我们有一个区块链溯源的技术。The Metaverse Mall works in real time with all the greenhouses in the base. Upon entering, one can choose a set of entire follow uh, a virtual person and follow a virtual person to the farm and click the camera to see the production scenes. After purchasing, the goods will be delivered to one's home. They guarantee that the one the users choose will be the one that arrives. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. 好，现在我们基地的话呢，也接待了多批的这个研学团队，拓展了这个农业功能之外的话呢，还同时了，同时这个拓展了我们这个农业的附加值。Mm. In the metaverse, agriculture can be used not only for recreation but also for the learning. Many groups are visiting the, the base to learn about how technologies in the metaverse are empowering agricultural production. In recent years. China's government has identified virtual reality as a new driving force for the ec new economy, has specifically supported the application and promotion of new technologies such as the metaverse production and daily life. So I came to this place for the very first time, sort of visited this place, metaverse, and I saw space breeding here. I learned a lot about the space breeding. And for me, being from a medical background to see the Chinese medicine herbs. I think combining Chinese medicine herbs with the development of the Chinese medicine herbs with the metaverse, I think the future is bright and we'll see a lot of development, a huge, I think, boost in the economy. And yeah.
there's there will be a huge development i believe so so let's hope for the future and thank you so much for watching the video i'm gonna see you guys in the next bye bye take care